So I start this video off with a question. Just how far can I drive my Model 3 performance for the cost of one gallon of gasoline? Because the answer may surprise you. It's 105, uh, which I think is spectacular for a car that also happens to have 510 horsepower and runs 10.9 at 123. So what I wanted to do is, is shoot this video to help show uh, new EV drivers or people that are considering an EV for the first time just how efficient these are and how cheap they are to drive. Again, not that driving an EV for me is about saving money, I just really enjoy it. Um, so it's not just about saving money, but just help demonstrate how efficient they really are. And to do that, we gotta break this down in two parts. One, efficiency, and two, the cost of your electricity. Because as you'll see, and I'll put the chart right up here, um, you know, while the price of gas may vary by 50% from state to state, the price of electricity can vary by like 400%, with Hawaii, I think, being 40 cents per kilowatt hour, and places like North Dakota costing 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So I'm gonna break it down in those two parts. Here we go. So part one, Efficiency. Uh, first, I want to break down some of the terms again for the uh, new EV drivers. Um, some brands use what is called miles per kilowatt hour. Um, in layman's terms, that's how many miles can you drive to burn one kilowatt hour of energy. Um, so most cars are in the 3.5 to 5 range. Again, the, more, the higher the number, the more efficient. Tesla, though, they use watt hours per mile. Again, in layman's terms, each mile you drive, this is how many watt hours you burn. Um, my car is averaging 284 watt hours per mile. That's over 1800 mile average. Um, it's worth noting my 2021 Model 3, that was the long range with the acceleration boost. That was, I think, 278. Um, so even though this one has the much bigger rear motor, heavier wheels and tires, and me having much heavier foot enjoying the car, it's only like 3%, 4% less efficient, which I think is a total tip of the hat to the Tesla engineers. I don't know how they did it. Um, so we're gonna remember that number, 284 watt hours per mile. So part two, you gotta know what your electricity costs. Um, and of course, I would implore you to check out if you have a time of use discount available. Um, I'll get to that in a second. So I'll put up the average rates here again. Um, because there are so many variables, we're just gonna use what I pay, because I think that's the easiest. Um, New Hampshire is in the 16 to 18 cent per kilowatt hour range. Um, that's typically one of the most expensive states. It's typically in the top 10 most expensive. I'm lucky, however, to have what's called a time of use, which basically means if I charge between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m., I get a huge discount. I'll put my electric rates right here, and you'll see that right now I'm only paying 11.751 cents per kilowatt hour. So here's where the fuzzy math comes in. Try to keep up, I'll put it on the board in the video the best I can. So today, a price of U uh, one U.S. gallon of gasoline is essentially $3.50. So we're gonna take $3.50, we're gonna divide that by my electrical rate, which is 11.75 cents. So 11.75, which means I can buy 29.78 kilowatt hours of energy for the price of one gallon of gasoline. We're gonna multiply that a thousand to get how many watts, and now we're gonna divide that by the watt hours per mile, which for me again is 284. So that comes out to a whopping 105 miles for the price of one gallon of gas. But I don't really think that's fair because if you're gonna have a daily driver that gets 500 horsepower, you're really gonna probably be using 91 or 93. You're not gonna be using this peasant 87 octane. So I'm gonna run this uh, calculation again using the price of premium gas, which again, according to AAA, is $4.30. So 
So if we run this calculation again, we take $4.30, divide it by my electrical rate, which is 11.75, comes out to 36.6 kilowatt hours. Multiply that by 1,000, divide it by 284. I can now drive 129 miles for the cost of one gallon of premium gasoline. I think that is spectacular. But I'm gonna use the worst example. Let's say you live in Hawaii. Now, I think I looked it up, the price of gas in Hawaii is $4.70 for a regular. So we'll take $4.70, and we are going to divide that by the awful 40 cents per kilowatt hour, okay? So 0.4. Uh, that means you can only purchase 11.75 kilowatt hours. We'll multiply that by 1,000, divided by 284, you are now only getting 41 miles for the price of one gallon of gasoline. So um, you can see just how much it can vary from state to state. Um, so that's really all I had. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, you know, leave them in the comments. I'm reading most of them. Uh, you know, it's been pretty positive, so I appreciate all the love. And uh, I'm hoping uh, Monday to be driving a Cybertruck. A guy down the street has a Cybertruck. I want to be driving his. And he has the old Model 3, so I'm going to let him drive mine. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so we got that coming up. Uh, anything else you want, leave it in the comments. I'll get to it. Thanks, guys. Bye.